Now we'd like to do something else that you probably heard before. This is another thing from the first album. It's called Dazed and Confused.
holy fornication. Uh, I mean, <laughs> this was in 1970, I was told. Uh, this was on Jimmy Page's birthday. Robert Plant looks so young. This was perhaps the first band that arrived on the scene at the time, uh, right on the scene ever. With all of them, you know, just the absolute masters of their instruments, of, uh, you know, just legends, you know, doing things that n had not been done before. Uh, they were setting the precedent for what was to come, for uh, years since. And uh, I mean, Bonham, man. Bonham. Bonham is, I think to this day, there are a lot of drummers since uh, who do a lot of, who, who use the, you know, double bass pedals, <laughs> they'll uh, achieve, they are competing for BPMs, beats per minute, and uh, who can do the highest and all those things. and. Like my favorite guitar player, Nuno Bettencourt says, it has become like a, an Olympics, drum Olympics. Same with guitar, guitar Olympics. Like how fast can anyone play? And all those things. But uh, it, what matters eventually is the feel of it. If it's the right time to do so, if it feels right for the song. And if there is a song, you know, um, people listen to songs with vocals, with lyrics, because uh, that's one way they can, you know, feel connected to it uh, somehow, if it relates to them somehow. Even if not, you know, uh, it's someone else's perspective and you can, um, you know, entertain that perspective for a moment and man, Bonham, John Paul Jones going crazy on the bass, Paige, um, need I even say anything, need words be uttered, um, I was told when I did, uh, when I listened to the studio version of this that I was told by a a uh, few people in the comments that it was Jim uh, Jimmy Page playing his guitar with uh, the violin bow, um, and here I am able to see it live in action. He is going crazy, man, and he. Uh, uh, so I wondered, you know, uh, whether he. Uh, I knew, I knew, you know, Paige uh, plays, uh, generally plays a Gibson Les Paul, Les Paul, uh, which, f which is a fixed bridge guitar. It doesn't have a tremolo, um, it doesn't have a, uh, you know, whammy thing. So I was wondering how he did that. Now I see it. He is, he is playing with the tu uh, tuning pegs. And the balls required to do that live. Uh, I mean, the the confidence that are, when you are changing the tuning to get the effect, you are going to get it back to exactly where it is required to be, so that the guitar is not uh, uh, untuned. And go, uh, a guitar doesn't go out of tune uh, because you have the rest of the entire song, rest of the song uh, to go. I mean, the. <laughs> it's absolutely legendary. I can imagine um, they were like magicians, wizards, conjuring their magic. And 
look at I'm looking at the crowd and it's all uh, there are no smartphones they're all just entranced captured captivated moved transported by this absolute uh, legend this absolutely legendary performance um, which was which remains as a legendary today as it was then i mean imagine that to stand the test of time 1970 2024 54 years five decades uh, they were jimmy is using vacuum tube amplifiers i i don't think even transistors were invented yet I don't think the US military ARPA DARPA and something they were just beginning to test that out or to create it or something like that so many bands influenced by them moved by them uh the legends from me and the legends there are moments in time i've said this before there are moments in time that separate the world before from the world after this was one of them paparaka right until the next time take care that's with daniel or robo bye